All right, guys. Another quick one here. Just wanted to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, tune-in PID values and finding a VMAX for your specific gimbal. So uh, I struggled to tune these little gimbals because I was saying way too high of a VMAX and that in turn makes all these other settings like really touchy. So I've, I've kind of revised my methods on how to find an appropriate VMAX for your gimbal. So let's just go over it real quick. So there we go. So I've set everything to zero. The gimbal's like on and running right now. And I found the best way to find a good VMAX is to simply set zero, set the D value to about you know, it's going to be something really low. About there. And then just start bringing up the VMAX until it's an issue. And you'll hear it and sort of feel it when it is in the gimbal because it'll start to shake. It's still shaking. Okay. It's about gone now. It'd be impossible to see in the camera anyway, so you just, I, I'm just resting my finger on the camera off screen here to feel the vibration in it, and it's, it stopped when I got the VMAX down to 30. So now we've got D and VMAX set. So to find P, just give it like a smidge of I, and we start raising P, oh, I can feel it vibrating again, until it vibrates and then we bring it down until it stops. Okay, that's oh. still shaking even though I've reduced it a lot, so I'm just going to smidge down this one. If I can click it, I'm actually looking at the <laughs> at the phone rather than my actual screen. Okay, so the vibration has all gone away, and now you raise I until you have a problem. I've been finding I can max this setting out. It hasn't been an issue, so I just set max. So there's no issue, and then. I just bring it down. So now we've got some basic settings that work on the bench here. And the next step would be go actually drive and test test it to make sure you, you know you're seeing good results. Or you could pop your goggles on and just wiggle the truck around on the bench and, and make sure everything's moving smoothly. Um, the way I, I test it tends to be um, find these settings, take it for a scoot in the backyard, just slow, slow speed stuff, and uh, make some adjustments. What you'll probably need to adjust is just bringing this down a smidge. If you find the, the gimbal's wiggling on that, that axis or vibrating, just smidge this down a little bit, um, and it should correct it. Uh, so if it passes the backyard test, then I take it to the grassy field where I can go a bit faster. It's a lumpy, grassy field. Um, and I do full, you know, some full speed passes. I take it on the street and do full throttle, full brake, make sure it's stable when it's accelerating and decelerating really hard. Um, and if it can do those things all passably well, then it's pretty much up and up and running. Uh, the hardest thing on the gimbal is like gravel roads and stuff like that where it's a lot of really fast vibrations so uh, if 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 it's smooth in the other situations I'll eventually go and take it on the gravel although it's not something I drive like every day so yeah so I hope that helps um, but yeah this this 
could save you a lot of time just finding that VMAX. Once you have an appropriate VMAX, you just have a lot more room to move on these other settings and, and hopefully you'll have better better results. So, Alright, until next time.